Hi everybody. Okay, so today I'm back with another video. Um, excuse me. I mean, this little fruit snack. So good. I'll go through like seven of those for real. Um, uh, this video is gonna be random. I really don't have anything to talk about. Um, hold on. <laughs> it's chewy. <laughs> I put that. Right there for later. Okay, so no. I've been going for a minute. Um, only because I haven't been wanting to make videos. Um I just haven't been wanting to make videos. I've actually been on YouTube since 2008 and it's 2013. And I've just been sitting back reevaluating my my channel, my purpose, what I'm gonna do. And a lot of it is kind of the same thing. Um I've never when I first started doing YouTube, I never wanted to solely focus on one particular thing, I initially started out to post videos of myself and my family so my family can see it back home in Atlanta. Because if y'all didn't know, I was born and raised in Georgia. And I live in Southern California because I moved out here. And um, and then I got into natural hair. Um, transitioning, I did transitioning videos and then my big chop videos. Then I had a baby and I did mom stuff. And then I had another baby and I did more mom stuff. And in between, there are a few outfit of the days and hauls. Because um, as you go along, your style develops, your hair, um, your makeup skills develop, all that type of stuff. And essentially, excuse me, y'all, as a community develops as far as, you know, bloggers and natural hair gurus or whatever, girl, y'all know what I'm trying to say. I've kind of been consist slowly being consistent. Which is fine, but I've been on here so long that I've watched people who started before me leave and people who started way after me way surpass, like surpass me in a large amount as far as subscribers, as far as opportunities. And it's like, I kind of sound like a hater right now, but <laughs> it's not it's not intentional. It's all with love. Um, I want my platform to be at a top rate because... Now, you know, the internet is a thing, and it's not just average people doing YouTube videos anymore. It's people you already know um, doing vlog channels, um, people who are already in the entertainment business or beauty bloggers or renowned makeup, su such and such. And, you know, it's kind of like oversaturated. And I feel like my purpose is kind of at a standstill, so I'm just going to take a step back and come back when I feel it, when I feel like I want to give more. Because right now it's kind of like, eh, I don't want to do it, so I'm not going to do it. And I have other stuff I got to do. Like, I have four children, you know, and it's just me. So, oh, yeah, I could vlog, but it's no point in doing that if nobody's going to watch it. So, <laughs> it, it isn't. Because the sole purpose of me putting informa information out there and giving people tips is to get to a larger audience so I can help a large amount of people. Now, if I just have a couple of a handful of people who are consistent with watching me and following up with me, I can get with y'all on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter. You know, it's not that big of a deal that you have to see me on camera because sitting down recording recording vlogs it takes a lot of effort as far as editing recording just in general and it's just me you know so yeah i'm gonna take a break i'll come back i'll see you see me when you see me you know what i mean as far as me making videos but i'll definitely be active on my social networks um i'm way more active on twitter now so follow me on twitter uh instagram and facebook you always follow me on facebook so yeah that's that's it with that and Anything else in random news? Malachi has six months. He's sleeping now. He's a little fat, so he's six months old. He has two little baby teeth. Uh, yeah, that's what's going on with him. You know, I post pictures of him so you guys can see on Instagram. Also, um, in other random news, what? My reality shows um, and Scandal. I still watch Scandal. We watch Shameless, we watch um, House of Lies. So it's just pretty routine, guys. I just, I haven't really been doing nothing with my family. <laughs> Focusing on them. There is a natural hair event also um, in LA, though, coming up on March 9th. And it's going to be in Manhattan Beach. Um, I'll try to, we'll go, if follow my, no, who? Milkshake Cafe, Ole. <laughs> it's a long name, girl. Adrian. She, um, Posted on her Instagram about the hair event. It's by LA Curly Girls. And I don't know if you guys know, but the Southern California is not that big of a natural hair forum here as far as women getting together. Because I know in in New York and Atlanta or just East Coast, Northeast and Southeast, period, there's always some type of meetup 
or hair show happening and it's like I never get to go because I'm literally on the other side of the state of the country I mean so whenever there's something in LA going I'm like there no hesitation I'm there so yeah and shout out to Adrian because she was my first natural hair meetup when we had it in the Long Beach um so yeah I love you girl okay so yeah segueing into something different um Something happened to a really close friend of mine, and it was like a very bad situation. And I'm not going to get into detail about it. I'm just going to put this information out here. Um, be careful about who you spend your time with and who, who you choose to give your time to, because not everybody deserves to know you, to be a part of your life. And I said it right, deserving. Um, love you more than you love anybody else. First, love God first and then love yourself and then everybody else you can get you, they'll fall in line after that um pay attention to people in your surroundings pay attention to what people say pay attention to what people do pay attention to how people act when they're around you and how they act around other people you know um this goes for men or women, uh, relationships, friendships, whatever. Just pay attention because you never know. You know what I mean? And we're all clear, have some form of clairvoyance. So that gut feeling, that's your clairvoyant telling yourself that you know something's not right. And sometimes as women, we'll ignore it. We'll say, okay, I know that this is happening, but I'm going to try to help. You know what I mean? I'm going to try to make this person better, and you can't do that. Because the only person going to make somebody better is themselves. So, focus on you. Do what you got to get done. Everything else will fall in line. Men, leave them where they at. They ain't going nowhere. It's always going to be. As long as there's women, there will always be men. Okay? So, you don't need to focus about finding your man, finding your boyfriend. If you're dealing with somebody who's not doing what they're supposed to be doing, you need to just leave that alone. Leave it alone. You ain't missing out on nothing. I promise you ain't, but money and time and emotions and energy that could be focused towards something different or positive in your life. You don't need to sit back worried about somebody not doing something for you or not giving you the type of attention you think you need or dogging you out. Like, girl, leave it alone. That, mm, I ain't about to do it. Me, I just learned at a very young age. And also my dad told me a lot about dealing with guys coming up. So I kind of had a platform of what to go off of. But just pay attention to who you put, give your time and attention to. If something goes off, like people will show you who they are. They'll show it to you. You won't have to ask. If you pay attention, you'll see it. And once you see it, you can't be mad at them for doing how they, for them acting, how they're supposed to act because they showed you this is what type of person they are. So uh, just focus on yourself. And that's my word. Word of the day. Focus, okay? Focus. Focus on everything else. Well, forget everything else. Focus on you. And let me go ahead and go ahead because I ain't got too much time. I did do a quick haul. I picked up some stuff in the Mac Archie's collection, Archie's Girl collection. Oops, yes. I picked up three Lex Lexuses. <laughs> I wish. Three lipsticks and a blush. And I picked up one from the Betty packaging, one lipstick. And it's in the color 000, and I have this on today right now. Okay. I'll swatch it though. You can't barely see it because my hand is. Ooh, girl, you ashy. Well, that's it. It's like a frosty brown. Uh, then I picked up two other lipsticks from the Betty collection. And one is what boyfriend stiller, which is that purple luster. I showed you to I showed this to you guys before. I'm gonna swatch it. It's actually really pretty, so, so that's boyfriend stiller. Then the red, uh Ronnie Red. I have yet to wear this. I tried it on, but I have a warning, and it is a matte. This is the color. And it's different from Ruby Rule though, so. Don't expect it to be the same. And this 000 is a perfect neutral, like 
I can just slap this on without any type of lip gloss and just go about my day because it is a luster. So luster has like that glossy shine to it. And I picked up a blush um, by Veronica and it's the Prom Princess. This reminds me of that blush over dyed. It came out a few years back. So that's it. And it looks a little pale and pasty, but it's not. It actually blends out really nice. So that's it. And that's all I picked up in the Archie Girls collection. I haven't really been worried about MAC. I did pick up a, some more brush cleaner. This is really good. This is like my favorite brush cleaner. And yeah, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and go ahead because I'm rattling now. So. I'll holla.